around Europe. The last time you saw this kind of divestment campaigns was apartheid South Africa. How can an industry count on leadership like you to have their back at COP, to have their back at the big meetings, to have their back when you find these Latin liberators pushing this constant narrative that they are the bad boys of the world? Yeah, I think it's... Um Sometimes we, we also create a wrong narrative. It's either it's this or that. And, and when you have got this narrative of this, and then you have people who say, oh, we only want to do gas, and that's, that's what we want to do. The other says, no, we only want to do renewable, and that's what it is. And that's create problems. Because then you always have the side, because I'm a believer in gas to power, and that's all what I'm going to say. I don't want to hear about renewables. Or oh, I believe in renewables, and I don't want to hear about the other energy resource, uh, sources. And unfortunately, some of these debates, some of these narratives, is also driven by commercial interest. The people who decided to actually invest in renewables, they would now want to think everybody should simply stop investing in any other resource. Let's just all do this. And I think that's where we go wrong. We believe to have a mix. We, in our energy mix, we want to have renewable energy. And luckily, we also have got you know, very good abundant you know, solar and energy. So we, that's what we are doing. It. And now that we have got gas, it should also be part of our mix. And it's true what you say. If you also then want to industrialize at the technology that we know today, you can probably not do that with renewable only. But who knows? In a couple of years' time, maybe you can. But in the meantime, if you can't, um, like the, the OPEC gentleman says, you know, the way we're seeing things, it looks as if the demand for fossil fuel is probably going to, to increase still. What more than the demand for gas? So we believe to have to have an energy mix that works. Uh, and not simply believing to say, no, it's, e it's either that or that. And, and that's actually how we want to, to, to go with this journey. But we would probably want to say, with uh, gas to power right now, because of what we have got, we are probably are going to fast track our industrialization um, journey, uh, as opposed to waiting until the technology for renewable, which you can also start to have um, base load coming from renewable, when that happens, obviously, why not? But again, just have both. If there are all resources that we have, let's use both. That's how we actually look at the issues.